In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to decompile maps. This will help you to learn, study, and reverse engineer how something was done. So for example, you can take a look at Nuke and learn how Valve created their skybox. Or you can open up CS Militia and see how this map was optimized and which techniques were used. So to go over some of the basics, there are two types of files you need to know about. .bsp and .vmf. .bsp is a compiled map file that Source Engine uses to run your map inside the game. And .vmf file is a Valve map format file. And this is the raw data of your map. VMF is where you open, save, and work on inside Hammer Source Level Editor. And once you compile your map, Source Engine generates a .bsp file. And this is what gets used inside the game. So in order to learn from finished maps that you've already played, such as any official Valve maps or any custom maps you downloaded, you need to decompile. And decompiling is a process where you take a .bsp file and generate a .vmf file, which then can be opened inside Hammer Source Level Editor. Now from Valve Wiki page, they say that decompiled levels mimic the original source, but they are not exact reproductions. This makes them useful for learning, measurement, and inspection, but not direct recompilation. So you should only decompile to learn and study the maps, to see how something was done and to improve your own work, but you should not copy, recompile, and release recompiled maps. Valve even mentions this on their wiki page that it could be a copyright violation if you use someone else's work without permission. So I would recommend to only decompile, to reverse engineer, and to study the maps. In order to decompile, you need decompiling tools. And if you go to this link right here, to Valve Software Wiki page, and scroll down under Tools, there are a set of tools that you can download and use to decompile BSP files. The one that I recommend and have used successfully for Counter-Strike GO is BSP Source. And this is the one that we're going to use in this tutorial. But you could try some other ones to see if they work better. And here on the bottom, you'll be able to find the download links. Now, I already downloaded BSP Source from this link right here and currently it's down. But you should be able to download from the other available links. So go ahead, download BSP source onto your computer. Now, I don't have any control over external links and the content on those websites. So you are responsible and you assume all the risk of going there and downloading the software. After the download, go ahead and extract the zipped file. Then go inside the BSP source folder and to launch the decompiler, you want to double click on BSP source.jar. Now, before we decompile, we're going to do a bit of prep work. This step is optional, but it's something I like to do so I don't mess with the actual game files. So, we want to navigate into the installation folder for Counter Strike inside CSGO folder and maps. In here is where you're going to find all final BSP maps that the game uses. So choose the map you want to decompile. In this example, we're going to decompile CS Militia. I'm going to select csmilitia.bsp, press Ctrl C to copy, and now I want to navigate into the installation folder for Counter Strike and inside SDK content folder. So instead of going to CSGO maps, we're going to go to SDK content, and in here, is where Hammer Source Level Editor looks into to look for .vmf files to open. So right inside SDK Content folder, I'm going to right click and create a new folder and call it Decompiled Maps. This is just going to organize our content when we do decompile. So let's go inside this folder and I'm going to press Ctrl V to paste our CS Militia map. So we now have a copied BSP file from the CSGO maps folder, and this is what we're going to decompile. This gives us additional layer of protection that if anything goes wrong, 
we don't mess around with the actual game content. Now open up BSP Source again if you haven't yet already and we're going to click on add to add the BSP file to decompile. You want to navigate into the installation folder Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive and inside SDK content folder. Then into decompiled maps. If you skipped the previous step and you are going to take a chance on decompiling actual BSP game files then you would go into CSGO, Maps, and choose one of the BSP files here. But we are going to go into SDK Content, Decompile Maps, and select csmilitia.bsp. You'll see it appear here, and this is the file we're going to decompile. If you had multiple BSP files, you would just select them all, click Open, and they will all appear here. Then once you have all the files added, click Decompile, and it's going to ask you where do you want to save this .vmf file. By default, it's going to choose the same folder where you selected the BSP file from. So we're going to keep this the same. Click save and it's going to decompile. It's going to take just a few seconds and now we will have a .vmf file. You can close this. We can also now close BSP source and inside the same folder we now have our vmf file. Now all that's left to do is open that VMF file inside Hammer Source Level Editor. So go ahead, launch Hammer Source, go to File, Open, go to Decompile Maps folder, and double click on that VMF file. It's going to take a few seconds, depending on the size of the map. It might take a little longer for larger maps. And now we have our CS Militia map that we can take a look at, fly around, and reverse engineer how everything was done. If there's too much going on inside the viewport, go to Viz Groups, Auto, and you can enable and disable some of these tool brushes from view. Now be aware that when you decompile and open some official and some custom maps, you may experience blank textures and error props, such as some of these right here on DNuke. This is normal, and it's due to custom props and custom textures being packed into the BSP file. So when you decompile, the decompiler doesn't actually create the source props and source textures that were used to create the map. So you will experience errors on props and on some textures and they will not show up in the map. And this will happen to any map that has used custom content, props and textures that were packed into the BSP file. So in this case, you can still learn from the map and study it. You'll just have to either go through the entire map and delete these error props, or you can go onto this group's auto and just hide props. This will hide all the props. So it's probably best to go through the decompile map and just delete these error props and resave. So decompile maps is probably one of the best ways to learn, study and reverse engineer how something was done so you can understand the process better.